Welcome to the physics department here in St. Aloysius College. My name is Michael O'Duffin. I am the head of physics. This short video is designed to help second year pupils as they consider which subjects to choose for their third and fourth year courses at National 5 level. Hopefully it will give you a little insight into some of the things you study uh, in physics at National 5, as well as some of the skills that you'll develop, and also why National 5 physics is useful in terms of career progression. Well, firstly, a little word on what physics actually is. Uh, physics is, of course, the fundamental science in the sense that all other areas of science can ultimately be reduced to physics and therefore physics has very wide application um, in so many different fields. It investigates uh, a whole range of phenomena um, in the natural world ranging from the microscopically small, we, we study the atom and the nucleus for example, uh, right up to the unimaginably large. We do a little bit of work on space and the universe. A sample of some of the things we study. In the mechanics unit, for example, we look at why objects move and how they move, and we use some simple mathematical equations to describe and explain their motion. In the waves unit, we look at how waves move through the vacuum of space and how they move through other substances, and one of our experiments involves measuring how fast sound travels through air, for example. In the space unit, we consider rocket motion. Uh, how do rockets work? How can they propel themselves when they're nowhere near the ground and indeed outside of the atmosphere? And to do this, we employ Newton's laws of motion. In the radioactivity unit, we look at the radioactive disintegration of the, the nucleus with unstable nuclei and how that can be used productively um, and how we can avoid uh, danger from it as well. In the electricity unit, we consider how basic electrical circuits work. Um, and as fourth year progresses and we study slightly more complicated circuits, we move on to some simple electronics. The electronics, of course, which is the basis of the iPads, which all of our pupils now use, and indeed of all computers, which form such an important part of our lives. So why study physics to National 5 level? Well, as well as the very interesting things that you'll learn, you will also develop really quite a wide range of skills. And physics is um, perhaps unusual as an academic subject at school level in developing such a wide range of skills. The sorts of things I'm thinking of are, for example, careful observation when carrying out experiments, how to take very accurate measurements, being very precise in doing so, having gathered results from experiments, analysing the information, having analysed that information, deducing valid conclusions which are logically consistent with what's been observed, and then once patterns have been spotted and laws developed and discovered, uh, using that new knowledge to solve problems, and that requires thinking, of course. It also involves mathematical reasoning. And in general, uh, skills in numeracy appear throughout the course. And finally, there is a requirement to be quite accurate in using language. So it's a really good training for the mind. Pupils naturally wonder where this might lead with regard to uh, careers. Well, physics has very wide application when it comes to different uh, careers. For example, um, it's very much desirable in medicine, dentistry or veterinary medicine to have physics to national five level. The scientific thinking and the ability to solve problems and handle uh, numbers is highly valued. Obviously, engineering is uh, another route that requires physics, very much so, along with maths. 
Um, examples of engineering, of course, would be mechanical, electrical, civil, chemical, aeronautical uh, or electronic, to name but a few from the ever-increasing list of different types of engineering that are now available. Physics is also a key subject for anyone who wants to study ophthalmics or optometry. Uh, you might wish to become an optician, for example, uh, or go into radiography, working in uh, imaging in hospitals. And of course, if you're interested in physics itself or astronomy, then uh, physics, of course, is a vital component. Pupils often think that the kinds of thing you study in physics will only have limited application in um, the, the occupations I've just mentioned, the, the sort of science-related ones. But of course, the skills that you develop are highly transferable. And uh, it's often not realized that the numerical skills and the skills of problem solving and handling data uh, are an excellent preparation for anyone who wants to work in finance, economics, business, or banking, for example. In fact, any occupation which is uh, highly numerate will uh, be supported by the study of uh, physics. So a National 5 physics is very, very useful in a whole range of applications. And of course, it goes without saying that any science-related job will benefit from having studied physics, at the very least, to National 5 level. So um, I hope you've enjoyed our short introduction to National 5 physics, what it involves, what skills you'll develop, and where it might lead. If you have any questions, well, pupils can always contact me by sending me a message through Schoology. Uh, parents, if you wish to get in touch, please just email me at the address shown on the screen. I look forward to seeing a number of pupils studying National 5 physics next year. I'm always happy to answer any questions you might have, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you.